Hey guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video since I renamed this channel. My name is Vivi. I am a full-time Poshmark seller, a stay-at-home mommy to two cute little boys, a lifestyle blogger and a social worker so on this channel it's gonna be mostly Poshmark related content a little bit of lifestyle as a family travel and fashion and style so welcome before I get into everything else let me give you a reason why I renamed this channel this channel was renamed because well the first name was Vivi Fashionable Body don't ask me why I deleted all the content it sucks so I just wanted to start brand new or start all over when all my social platform to have similar names so it's easy for people to find me when they're looking for me <laughs> so welcome so a brief history of how it all started with Poshmark and why I went full-time so back in the day I used to work at an elderly retirement home as a direct care staff while I was living with my parents and I was in school full-time so I just used to take my unused clothing or used clothing to Salvation Army or Goodwill and just donate it. So one day a co-worker of mine told me about Play-Doh Closet. This is how I got to know about Play-Doh Closet. I walk in the Play-Doh Closet and automatically got addicted. <laughs> I think I bought more than I sold at Play-Doh Closet. Let me just be honest and to get this out of the way, I am a serious shopaholic. I mean, I'm working on myself now, but <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> so, I all started, I used to take stuff there. To, you know, it was pretty much trade because whatever they gave me back is what I used to buy items that they were selling. So I did that until my hubby got a job in Lancaster, which is an hour, 30 minutes from Philly. And we had to relocate. I changed schools and everything. And yeah, so we moved to Lancaster. We moved in an apartment. We were there. We didn't have much friends in the area except for his co-workers so every weekend we would go to philly that's when i would take my items to get it to to sell it or donate it so we did that until we got tired of living in an apartment we wanted to do own something so we found this home that we're in right now i love my office <laughs> that was around um 2012 i'm not sure yeah that was around 2012 so i think we moved here in 2010 so when we we invited a couple of his um co-workers to come over to see the house it was like a soft house warming or whatever and one of his co-worker girlfriend who is now his wife saw all my things in the guest room and then she asked me what do i do with these things that i no longer want so i told her i said her name is Carly, by the way. Carly, if you're watching this, hi. I just want to tell you, thank you for introducing me to Poshmark. <laughs> well, anyway, so Carly was so Carly told me there's this app online called Poshmark, and I could sell my stuff on Poshmark. So I was like, hmm, that sounds kind of difficult. Never heard of anything like that. But she told me she said, just download the app and read the etiquette, and you should be fine. At that time, I don't think Lancaster had like a Play-Doh Closet available in the area, so this is why I used to take my stuff to Philly. So when Kali came across my things and told me about Poshmark, I was very excited. I downloaded the app, read the etiquette, and I was good to go. I had nothing fancy, no lights, no... I was using natural lights. I was using the white door in my house. <laughs> I mean, our house walls are like off-white anyway, so just put a pin and then hang something. And I was making sales. I was really excited. I was part-time at the time. I didn't really take it too seriously. So, fast forward, 2014, I had my first son. I was still part-time on the app. And then 2015, I graduated college with a social work degree. And I was doing my internship. I got through doing my internship. I was working in the field. I was still part-time. I was enjoying it. You know, whatever I can get for my items, I was pleased with it. And my things were like stuff that was worn once, once or twice. So it was in like new condition. So I was doing it part-time until 2017. I had my second son. By the way, my first son name is Nolan. And my second son is Noah. So... I had my second son then early 2018 that's when I decided I wanted to go full-time and when I decided I wanted to go full-time what I did was did my research came across a couple of videos that was very informative like empty hanger video I'll link her down below Nicole State and the deal queen I'll link all of them down below 
it was so informative i was like if they can do it full time as a business i can do this because i already knew the ins and out of poshmark so why not go full time and i really wanted to spend time with my boys because now that i have two my hands are full you know i wanted to spend more time with them i wanted to be able to wake up at any time work at my own pace and just do something that I love and I really love fashion and style and then finding a new home for all these great items that I when I walk into Goodwill or Salvation Army and find something that is like oh I can sell this I can wear this you know I'm excited to take a picture of it list it and really excited about the full-time idea so I went full-time and I love it like seriously I love it I like spending more time with my family I like doing this as a full-time business and just being creative so I created this little space so I can be creative I do my flat lay do my photograph anything that had anything that is related to Poshmark my blog yeah so that's why I created this space and I'm really excited that I went full time. And if I can go full time, if I can do this as a business, you can do it too. And I know there's this thing out there saying that this feel exaggerated. It is, but there's somebody out there for everybody. You just have to put the work in. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. So this is why I created this video. If you like what you heard or what you saw, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, any questions you have, and hit the like button if you like this video <laughs> aim across all platform social platform is fancy and chic so you can um always send me a dm or message if you have any questions posh my relator or just questions in general how i'm doing this with two kids full-time mommy let me know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if i'm forgetting anything i'll put it in the next video and i will try to upload every week on Sundays <laughs> yes my life is busy as I get comfortable making these videos I will try to create more content so just watch out for the next video I will talk to you guys later <laughs>